What's going on guys? It's your boy Coochies and today we're going to be talking about MBD tryouts and the requirements for the positions that we are looking for. So uh, first off we're going to start off with sharpshooters. You have to shoot at least 55% from the three. Inside the arc we're not really worried about. Um, I def nothing under 50%. Definitely not nothing under 50% at all. If you're shooting under 50% inside the arc then you're most likely forcing shots and that's not what we want. Um, for playmakers and point forwards, we would like to see uh, about 55 to 60 percent inside the arc and at least 53 percent outside of the arc. Um, we for point forwards, we really for point forwards and playmakers, we don't want dribble dribble guys, dribble spammers, because at the end of the day, that's not going to help you get a win. Uh, I know a lot of you guys might watch Hank the Tank and think it's all fun to sp drown or spam dribble. And yeah, it might be. It's fun when you play come ups, and it's alright when you play come ups if it's agreed on with your teammates at the beginning of the game or during the game. But we don't want that when it comes down to uh, the the little clan battles we have, because that's definitely not going to help anybody get the win if you're if you dribble for 20 seconds and dump it off to your teammates when you're out of stamina, because that it just creates chaos. It, it doesn't help anybody if. If, especially if they have good defense if they have good defense it's not that hard to guard a playmaker you just have to step up close to them and they can't really do too much um but we're looking mostly for playmakers playmakers and point forwards we're looking for ones that can shoot very very well um we do have a few, we do have a few in the clan that can shoot very very well and that's what we want the most when it comes to playmakers and point forwards and also if you have Hall of Fame Dimer, that's that's going to increase your chances a lot because that helps the team a lot when it comes to shooting and obviously when it comes to passing, catch and shoot shooting, it's going to help a lot. Um, for shot creators, it, this one was a hard one to create a requirement for because one, I'm not trying to sound cocky, but I, I'm a well above average shot creator. I'd say I'm better than 90%, 95% of shot creators in the game that I've ever seen. Um, I'm sure I'm sure there's ones better than me. I'm saying personally, what I've seen, there's not too many that are better than me. And my stats are actually really high for a primary guard. Uh, so for shot creators, I'm going to say inside the arc, you should definitely be able to shoot 60%. With a shot creator, it is so easy to green inside the arc. It's, it's honestly, it's unfair. If you have a good off dribble, you should be able to green inside the arc with no problems. Um, for outside the arc, for the three point line, we're going to say 55%. Now, you might think those are those requirements are kind of high or whatever, but I'm a, I'm a primary shot creator and I shoot 74% inside the arc and I shoot six, 63 or 62, 64, something like that um, on the three point line. Uh, I shoot, I have the highest three point percentage in the clan and I'm not bragging. I'm just, I'm just saying this because I, I'm, I shoot better than half sharpshooters in this game. So if you're a shacker, you should at least better shoot 55% and outside the arc. It's not that hard. Get a good off dribble. Look at my videos. I'll help you out. Um, for stretch bigs, it's the same requirements from three as a sharpshooter, 55%. Inside the arc, I definitely think you should be able to shoot 60 to 65 percent. Um, if you do, if you're not shooting that well inside the arc, you're either messing around too much or you're forcing shots. Now I get some games you're just you're having fun or whatever. That's why I'm just gonna say like 60 percent. It's, it's not that hard to get as a big man. Um, and for all other centers at least 70 percent inside the arc like i said i'm a guard and i shoot 74 percent inside the arc so if you're seven three and and any every other center can shoot really well inside the paint especially a glass cleaner there's no there's no doubt you should be able to shoot 70 percent inside the arc um it's very easy and there's not much to say about that now for lockdown defenders we're kind of contemplating if we should try out lockdown defenders and I have a lockdown defender I really I rarely bring them out in part I do if I'm playing with a playmaker or I did yesterday just to mess around with one of my friends he was using his shot creator that he never uses he's not a guard at all and he honestly sucks at dribbling I hope you're watching this thing because you're completely terrible at dribbling I just wanted you to know that and um <laughs> so yeah but lockdowns 
this I don't really know what to say for a requirement. I think inside the arc, you should be able to shoot 60 to 65 percent because honestly, they are very dominant inside the paint especially if you're heavy i'm 190 pounds and i'm pretty dominant in the paint so if you're heavy you should definitely be able to baby people inside the paint um it's not that hard and you if, you, if you're getting dropped off on a consistent basis on a tryout you might as well just just quit now everybody gets dropped off here and there uh, i've gotten dropped off of my lockdown it happens everybody has their weaknesses when it comes to who to guard um so that's not a problem but if you're getting dropped off on a consistent basis and you you take dumb shots with a lockdown then it's it's that's a no-go um i think i've covered everything um yeah guys just message me on xbox nbdx coochies i'll put it down in the description if i remember um but you can see it you're gonna see it in the video what my gamer tag is um just message me on uh, either Xbox or Twitter. Uh, on, if you're messaging me on Twitter, take a picture of your stats and send it to me. We don't really, we're not basing everything off of stats and record because, like I said, we know that you guys, that some people play Rams, they don't have a team to play with. But I still want to see just, just kind of what your, what your uh, stats are. If, if your stats are good and your record is bad, then that, that pretty much tells me you're playing with Rams most of the time. You're playing with your friends that are really bad. Um, but you're you're a good player if your record's really good and your stats are bad then then you're probably getting carried the whole time you know what i'm saying and so that's what we're looking for if you message me on xbox then take a screenshot of your stats or your my park stats and it'll also have your record in it and send that to me in a message and i'll message you back i'll contact you back i'll most likely respond to more twitter messages and i'll I'll, I, I get most of my Xbox messages, but sometimes I get them while I'm in a game and then forget to check them after the game. That's why I say just message me on Twitter because you have a higher chance of me responding to you. I'm, I'm going to be checking my messages uh, pretty frequently now that I'm making this video, but that's just what I'm saying. Uh, Twitter is definitely going to be where I'm going to be responding most of the time. So guys, if you did enjoy this video, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, message me on Xbox or Twitter, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.